former South African president Jacob Zuma was barred on Monday from running for parliament in this week's national election over a previous criminal conviction the latest twist in his return to politics the decision was made by the country's highest court the constitutional court which may still be appealed it ruled that zuma is only eligible to run as a lawmaker after his 2021 sentence for contempt of court was completed so let's talk about the 82 year old zuma's controversial presidential reign and secondly why he was disqualified from the election but before that our next report tells us more on zuma's journey in south africa's politics zuma has long been one of south africa's most recognizable politicians he was a senior leader in the anc during the liberation struggle against apartheid as former anc intelligence chief he has repeatedly threatened to reveal some of the party's secrets. While Zuma was not one of Mandela's preferred choices to succeed him, Mandela trusted Zuma to play an influential role in ending the deadly political violence that engulfed the KwaZulu Natal province before the historic 1994 elections. The province has remained a vocal base of support for Zuma ever since, and members of Zuma's Zulu ethnic group make up its majority. Zuma became deputy leader of the ANC in 1997 and was appointed South Africa's deputy president in 1999. Zuma is now the leader of a new party, Umkonto Wesizue Party, and is campaigning against the long-ruling African National Congress he once led. Analysts say the ANC which has comfortably held power since Nelson Mandela became the country's first black president in 1994, might receive less than 50% of votes on Wednesday's election and lose its parliamentary majority. That will be the ANC's worst electoral performance since it came into power in South Africa at the end of apartheid. One reason the ANC is under pressure is Zuma who stepped down as president in 2018 amid a swirl of corruption allegations and now threatens to draw more support away from the ENC. Zuma's path to power included legal challenges. In 2006, he was found not guilty of raping the daughter of a comrade at Zuma's home in Johannesburg. A year earlier, he was fired as South Africa's deputy president after his financial advisor, was convicted for corruption for soliciting bribes for Zuma during an infamous arms deal. Alleging a political witch hunt, Zuma launched an aggressive political campaign that saw him elected ANC president in 2007. His campaign appealed to widespread discontent with the then president Thabo Mbeke, who was often described as autocratic and aloof. The corruption charges against Zuma were later dropped amid controversy and he was elected South Africa's president in 2009. The arms deal case has resurfaced decades later, however, and Zuma is due to go on trial for corruption next year. Looking at Zuma's presidential reign, Zuma's presidency was often under a lot of fire. His friends and allies, the Kupta family, were accused of influencing appointments to key cabinet members in exchange for lucrative business deals. The allegations of corruption in government and state-owned companies eventually led the ANC to force Zuma to resign in 2018. A judicial commission of inquiry uncovered a wide range of evidence. And in 2021, Zuma was convicted and sentenced to 15 months in jail for refusing to testify at that commission. Zuma still remains aggrieved with ANC and its successor, President Cyril Ramaphosa. And in December, Zuma shocked the country by denouncing the ANC and campaigning against a party which has been at the heart of his political career. His new party, Umkonto Wisizwe, which means the Spear of the Nation, was named after the ANC's military wing, which was disbanded at the end of the struggle against white minority rule. The ANC launched a legal case 
seeking to stop the new party from using a name and a logo that are similar to those of the military wing. But the charismatic Zuma continues to move across the country, delivering lively speeches, and an image of his face is expected to represent the party on ballots. So why was he disqualified from the election? Zuma was disqualified for standing as a candidate for parliament because of a previous conviction for contempt of court in 2021. The Constitutional Court said that a section of the Constitution disqualifying people for standing in for office if they've been sentenced to more than 12 months in prison without the option of a fine also applies to Zuma. Zuma is not allowed to run for parliament for five years from when his sentence was completed. But even if he's not allowed to be a candidate, Zuma's party still threatens to draw support from within the often divided ANC. It may emerge as a significant opposition party against a weakening ANC that must require four main coalitions to run the country.